Hello, I thought um, this afternoon I'd show you how to do a variegated wash, uh, which is quite characteristic of my work. Right, so here we are. This is a painting I've just started, which is of Inverness Castle. And this is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm laying down, it's a variegated wash. Most important thing, have your board on a slope. I've got it on a pad here and it gives me about a 45 degree angle. Second important thing, you need to be to have the paint quite dilute. This is about, I don't know, um, semi-skimmed milk, something like that. So um, pick up some in your paintbrush, and this is what I'm saying, hold it on a slope, and just put some on. Now you've got this, what's called a bead at the bottom there. So get that going, and then get into another color. Let's go with a bit of, a bit of red. And you see what's happening is it's all gonna start mixing on the paper. Um, and a bit more red and if I hold it down and all I'm doing is just teasing it down I can maybe do a bit of green there now something I've learned because I've done been doing this a long time they don't tell you this in books I think it's quite important every so often just to go in with just water that's water that's not paint because the problem is if you go in with too much paint you end up with just a big muddy mess um, so if I just, that's just getting a bit dry there, so let's add to that. It's lovely, it all just mixes right. And I'll just finish off with a bit of blue. Now, pick up your bead along the bottom there, because otherwise that'll just dry into a mess. Obviously I don't want um, a hard edge, so all I'm going to do is with my brush and some water is just dissolve that edge out. You see, I just paint into it, I wiggle my brush, paint into it and just dissolve that edge out. It means then I can leave that, and when it dries, I can. I haven't got a hard edge to match up to. As you can see, I've completely missed out all of the detail, and if I show you one that I did of Edinburgh Castle, all this gets put in on top. All these windows and bits and bobs, you put these on when the wash is totally dry. Very briefly before I go, once that is totally dry, I can paint on top. So I'll just show you that. This is totally dry now. So look, I can do the same. I can start to paint on top of it. Again, if I work it at a slope and I'm very gentle, it won't disturb the underneath. And then what I'm gonna do again is just dissolve that out. So all I'm doing is picking up some of the detail without repainting the whole thing. And that's it. That's your variegated wash. Thank you very much for watching.